move uh, five hundred thirty-five thousand <coughs> seventy-nine dollars. Thank you. Okay. So, um, question A: Regular wages up five point eight percent goes back to the original discussion about the increases in collective bargaining agreements. They're all contractual CBAs. Yes. Um, question B: Overtime wages up fourteen point eight five percent to nineteen thousand five hundred twenty-four. That again is a result of. Um, Doing work in other those people in that account doing work in other areas like with voting, as well as the increases in the collective bargaining agreements um, amounts of uh, their pay. We're not taking on any new routes or you know doing any additional uh, pickups. It's just a matter of the, the wages. See, diesel fuel needs an adjustment. Gotta, goes yeah, back to the original Sick. issue of the diesel. Yeah. Uh, recycling hauling, uh, 56,215 and 213, 214 annualized, annualized from September is 50.7K, Y85. Our contract with our existing recycling hauler is, expires June 30th, and I'm anticipating. Uh, that that cost is going to go up uh, a fair amount, so we're just trying to cover our bases. I'm, I'm actually, as we speak, working on the bid to, to go out for those services for hauling trash and recycling. So you'll see the same thing on the, the trash. Uh, How soon hauling. will you have those in the, the bids? The bids, will you have them uh, before the end of the year? It's probably going to be about a month okay. before I get those back and get it. It's a very, very complicated <laughs> bid. State date again. Okay. That's a 52 percent. That's a 52 percent jump, Keith. Right. I don't think it's going to raise that much. That may be one. Thing. Well, it depends. If we end up continuing to go, one of the bidders that we have is Eco Maine up in uh, Portland, and that cost could be considerable. But they've actually given the district solid waste district a lower bid. So I have to tie in the bids for hauling to where we're going to go. We have four options to where we could haul our trash to. So that's where it gets complicated. Is I got to evaluate the cost of calling. So you built in a safety distance. factor here. I'm building at this point, yes. What was the date that, that was? June 30th. June 30th. Thank yes. You. 2015. Yeah. And I set it up so all our contracts are um, recycling, trash hauling is expires June 30th, as well as our recycling contract and our uh, for our. Um, Recycling disposal site, as, as, as well as the uh, solid waste disposal site. So all of them are expiring on June 30th. <coughs> that gets us through that section, I believe. Yep. Mm -hmm. Landfill. That solid waste disposal and the landfill leads it off. I got a question. I got a question. I have a question. Uh, yeah, maybe we ought to. Hold up. Yeah. Okay. You don't have anything else in there, Jerry, so I, I, I'm going to go back to Michael. Please. Fine. <laughs> Start there, Mike. Uh, yeah, I was looking on 115. It's, actually, it's a sort of a carry-on from that question I asked about the mm -hmm. deputy fees a uh, while ago. Yeah, but we're not, on, we're not on 115. We're, too far. we're, going, we're ending at 113, so... Oh, 113. You okay. got anything on what we've discussed so oh, far? sorry, I'm off page... What were, what were the pages again? I'm sorry. Oh, we're on page 113. Okay, I'm going to move on to Joe. We'll end with you, Joe. I okay. guess my question is more for the selectmen. On the seasonal part-time wages in the default budget, you got eighty-six thousand dollars in the default budget. Why? Why so? I mean, you only you only used forty-eight last year. Why the big difference? The two thousand fifteen default. We have been. I, I can answer that question. That we, with all the accounts, we're trying to separate the accounts uh, into individual compartments so that. Snow removal is in one section, 
And when I first got here, it was all kind of lumped into two or three different accounts, and now we're trying to get a better handle. So we've been separating those out. So hopefully next year you're going to get a better picture of how all these things <coughs> shake out. Yeah, but your actuals for last year was 48000 Okay, you're 24 this year. Which page are you on now? 111. Yeah. 4323.1.120. Four, four, all right. If you look in the default budget, you have the 86,925 that you were asking for in, in the 2014. <coughs> but you're only asking for 27 for this year. Right. So what I'm, my the question is, why is the default budget? If oh, this okay. doesn't pass, why is the default budget so high, so much higher? Good question. Question. <coughs> Is the default? You're uh, saying the 2015 default, default budget? Yeah. Higher? Right. The 2015. If you look at on uh, the for that, it would be o, OBS 11. Okay. It's. It says it's 86,000. 86,925. That's a default. That's our current budget as well as last year's budget. Why? Because it's default budget this year, and that's what. It's <clears saying. throat> okay, but. 2013 actuals. It's 48,168. Why the big jump? We took because the budget carried over. You're, you're asking about last year's budget. We'll carry over. Is that what yeah, that's what I'm, I'm not. Yeah. That's my question. That's just the, the, that's one of those functional things that if that number moves forward in that account. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's the operational law of the law of the oh, default you mean budget. Oh, 14. I see. Yeah. So yeah. you're dragging all that across. Yeah. But these seasonal, these seasonal. This is summer seasonal, right? Mm -hmm. This, this line item. Mm -hmm. So what I do in part time. In part time. So you know what I noticed is that. Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt Joe, but no, just to follow ahead, up I'll, on your I'll, question. You, you can go. Uh, the actuals you're right for the end of the year was 48166. Yeah. But in September of 13, the actuals was 41550, and so somehow about six hundred six seven thousand dollars got in there between the end of September and the end of December. And if this is a summer account, I don't understand that. There's another factor, and I, I can't tell you right now exactly how it worked, but with those two part, there was two part-time employees that were coming out of that account, and they were both working 30 hours. They were part-time. <coughs> we took, and I got this approval from the town manager and selectmen to convert the two 30-hour people into one full-time person so that we'd have them full-time using the same value of those 230-hour week people. And then the balance of that money, there was some money left over from doing that sort of swap, then we were able to put a seasonal person on for a limited amount of time. I can't tell you at this point in time exactly how all that math worked out, but that's that's what happened. So this full-time, uh, part-time and full-time occurred in 2013 or 2014? 20 13. What was the answer? I believe it was towards the end of, I'm not sure off the top of my head right now exactly. It was towards the end of 13 going into 14 when we made that change. I uh -huh. can't remember exactly where that dividing point was. How many, how many employees did we do that with? Just, just, just two. Two employees. But Went we, from part-time to full-time. No, one. One went from full part time. Two, the two were dissipated, and he, he apparently got one full time. Correct. <clears throat> You're paying that one full time out of this line item that's marked. No, that goes into regular wages. Okay, but my question was about the part time line item. Right. Uh, I can't tell you, to be truthful with you, right now, I can't tell you off the top of my head how all that math worked out. I had. Yeah, this it is kind of like an accounting visibility issue again. We've had a couple of these. And okay. That's okay. I'll, I'll just, I'm sorry to interrupt you, Joe. No, I'm also. Thank you for yielding, by the way. You know what? I'm going to interject something here. Not only the fact that it's getting late, but I think that this piece is really important to us to figure out manpower in this budget. And right now, to me, it's great. Mm -hmm. So I don't know how even pushing forward with this. Me, personally, I'd be able to vote on this one way or the other. I don't know what your sentiment is. 
I suspect that looking around, if all of you have questions, that if you step back, you'd want to ask. I think there's, you know, there's a general, we've seen this in the last few meetings, there's some general uh, visibility issues, some of which are born because of the default budget scenario where you've got an operational law required to take this line item over there and you actually want to fund something else into that. And, and so, you know, you get the general accounting visibility problems that come with that. Then there are other just normal um, needs for more visibility in terms of wages. And, you know, the, the statement with regard to the wage increases uh, that I've heard from DPW just broadly uh, have been you know, union contracts but, and catch up. And, and, uh, and, and to me, you know, I, I, I do these strange things like read court cases, and I found this court case that says something about an evergreen clause. So, you know, if you have a union contract in the state of New Hampshire and, you, and it expires, the evergreen uh, requires that you continue with that contract so the raises would continue to go on. So, we never bought into it. That's not it. That, that's not it. That, there is an evergreen clause, but that don't necessarily apply to all of your CBAs. <coughs> right. Some law change on that. So you're, you're right. There is a concept called an evergreen clause, in which case you would continue with steps, not necessarily the raises that would continue. Was, was the step, are the steps related to promotions? or <coughs> Steps are generally related to time on the job, seniority, right. time on the job, not okay. promotions. Okay. So steps would continue as you progress through it, but your raises that, you know, X that you get each year, cost of living, to those expire with the, 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 but again, being very clear, our CBAs don't have those provisions in it. He's right. We, we you don't leave that, then you, when they expire, you go into what's called a status quo position. We none of our none of our unions are our covered CBAs by do uh, not, have no, not to my knowledge, Tim. I remember this that's whole a curiosity thing. which I'll ah. explore outside the meeting. Right? That's <coughs> very interesting. Thank you. Okay. So the pleasure of this committee at this point. But hang on for a second. This this page one eleven. Does people in trucks? It's collection, right? It says collection. Mm -hmm. Solid waste collection. Is it, is it people with trucks? Yeah. Okay, not the transfer station. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's always, uh, I was, no, I was, All right, do you want to keep Please going? don't overcomplicate. I mean, the, the, the reality for that account is just as I said, I'm very clear on that. I don't, I'm not clear on how the default amount is derived from. That's, <laughs> I'm not clear. But what I am clear as far as personnel, if you have a question on personnel, what we did. We took, like I said, two part-timers right. and converted it to one full-time. There was no increase in the budget from that move. So I'm clear on your request here to keep going forward. All right. Your actual for seasonal and part-time wages in 2013 was 48166 but your request for 2015 is only 27638 That's what he said. That's correct. <laughs> 20000 well, basically $20,000 less for your part-time and the seasonal because you have two people that went to full-time somewhere in that mix. One of the two. One of, one one of, the, of two. the two went to full-time in that mix. And I can, I can also offer Madam Chairman that in 011 he spent 77000 there and in 012, 60000 And 13 it dropped. 14, he got 17, and he spent so far, well, through September 25, and he's asking for, for you know, or he's asking 27. So when I saw that, <clears throat> I was happy to see the 27. <coughs> well, the, the regular wages are, are going up 15,000, and the part time wages are going down, what, 20,000? But well, the regular wages are going up because of raises. Well, no, I'm just adding up all the wages kind of in my head. <coughs> and I'm thinking, I'm seeing more or less flat on the wages of the three line items over time, part-time and regular. I mean, I don't, I don't see any big increase here at all. Then let's keep going. I don't think there's a problem there. No. I, I didn't. That wasn't being the questions I heard from as I Did you want to... Look at this, Eileen, and maybe draw a line as to no, how far. I'm good. We'll keep going. Oh. 
The only issue that it raises really is when he converted part time to full time. Are oh, the fringes? The fringe benefits get paid out of it. Out of account. account. The yeah. bottom line budget, but not out of Keith's budget. But I still. So there's an increase cost. that is. Well, no, it's not an increase to your budget, but it's an increase to the bottom line budget of the town. Somewhere. And that team. increase is kind of one of the accounting visibility issues that I, I keep seeing that we need to address somehow. So. <coughs> well. Keith, back to you. I think that closes up that section. Thank you. Questions? Where do we stop? Thank you. I'm done. You done? Well, all set. All set. All set. All set. All set. All set. Okay. All right. We have a motion. We have a second. We've had our discussion. All those in favor? Jerry? I'm <coughs> abstained, I think, on this one. Okay. Opposed? Mm -hmm. And abstentions, yeah. Jerry. Yeah. 